Since the early 1980s, the Turkish army has had a need for long-range artillery missile systems. Turkey received a small batch of 12M to 70M LRS systems, and deliveries were completed in 1992. The U.S. was reluctant to share technologies with Turkey. Hence, soon after adoption, Turkey began to reverse engineer the M26 to 127mm rockets of the M270 in order to have its own supply. Turkey's company significantly improved their capabilities in the area of anterior rockets. A second batch of 24 additional M270 MRIS systems with MGM-140 ATCMS short-range ballistic missiles was planned, but was eventually cancelled. During the 1990, Turkey approached several other countries, including China, France, and Israel, with proposals regarding rocket and ballistic missile technology transfer, joint development, and co-production. Chinese offer was the best. As a result, in 1997, an agreement was signed for the joint development and production of a variant of the WS multiple launch rocket system in Turkey. The TRG-300 Tiger, also known as TRG-300 Kasigar, is manufactured in Turkey by Rokesan. The Turkish system has some differences from the WS-1. It was based on a German-manned 6x6 tactical truck chassis. Prototype was completed, and first test launches were made in Turkey in 2000. The Kasigar ended service with the Turkish military in 2000. In 2016, it was exported to Azerbaijan. These artillery rockets saw action during the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war. In 2019, Bangladesh ordered a regiment of these rocket systems. Deliveries are planned to be completed in 2021. This system is used to engage priority targets with guided rockets at ranges up to 90 to 120 kilometers. Typical targets for these systems are hostile artillery batteries and air defense systems, command posts, radar size, logistical facilities, assembly areas, and other high priority targets. The rockets are actually 320 mm in diameter, though these are sometimes referred simply as 300 mm. Hence, the 300 designations. These are unguided TR-300S rockets with a maximum range of up to 65 km and TR-300E rockets with a maximum range of up to 100 km. For precision strikes, the TRC-300K guided rockets are used. This rocket weighs 585 kilograms and has a range of 120 kilometers. It carries a 105 kilogram high explosive warhead filled with steel balls. This rocket uses initial guidance with GPS and GLONASS update. It is accurate out to 10 meters and has a destructive radius of around 70 meters. The improved guided rocket, or Block 2, has a significantly more powerful warhead, but at a cost of reduced range. It weighs 670 kilograms and can reach targets at a range of up to 90 kilometers. It carries a 150 kilogram high explosive warhead and has a destructive radius of around 80 kilometers. This rocket is also accurate out to 10 meters. 
This rocket system is operated by Crew 3. It takes around 20 minutes to prepare the Lodger Vicar to fire. The Lodger Vicar uses automatic fire control system with manual backup. Typical battery of the Kasigar includes 6 to 9 Lodger Vickers, associated 3 supply Vickers, and command post Vickers. All of these Vickers are based on the German manned 6x6 tactical truck chassis. If required, each Lodger Vicar has all necessary equipment and can operate independently. The Lodger is also a deterrent force due to its long range and mass fire capabilities. It is therefore ready for vital tasks in a very wide array of missions from peace support operations to the attack with fire missions in addition to standard technical missions for the support of maneuvering force. The system has shoot and scoot capabilities, enable the navigation, automatic hydraulic leveling and stabilization, and automatic crater laying capabilities integrated to the weapon management system. <laughs>